let's update Fabric 119.4 to 120. Alrighty, friends, welcome back and tell you once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be updating our 119.4 tutorial project over here to 120. This is... Well, actually, more straightforward than you might think. We're not in a 118 to 119 scenario again, where it takes like 40 minutes to update. Luckily, most of this is fairly straightforward. The first thing we, of course, want to do is we want to go to the gradle.properties file and, well, change all of this in accordance to the new version. As always, on fabricmc.net, you can basically see these are the new versions. This is the new fabric version. So let's just copy this over. That's going to be this one right here. And the same thing goes for the fabric version. And there we go. That's step number one. Step number two in the build.gradle file, we, of course, have a GeckoLib dependency. Therefore, we need to update this as well. Now, luckily, GeckoLib has already updated. That is absolutely amazing. And the version right now is 4.2. So we're just going to update this. So this is going to be 120 and 4.2. There you go. That's this done as well. And the last thing we want to do is in the fabric mod adjacent, we want to make sure that the Minecraft dependency over here, right? So our mod depends on Minecraft. And right now it looks for, well, anything that's 119. What we're just going to say is if it's bigger or equal than 119.3, that's going to be fine. And if we've done this, we can go to the load gradle changes at the top right, just hit this button and let it basically download and build everything. This can take from several seconds to maybe a minute or two minutes, depending on how fast your internet connection is and how fast your PC might be. Just be patient and wait until you get a build successful. And there we go, build successful in 1 minute 43 seconds. If you get this error right here, or this is actually not an error, this is a warning, matching copy action right here, do not worry, that is totally normal. You can completely ignore this. That is just a new thing for basically IntelliJ IDEA in the newest version, you know, sometimes you get this, but that can be ignored. As long as it's a build successful, you're going to be a good. Right, and let's go to the tutorial mode class and you can see nothing's changed here. Well, there are actually quite a few changes. The first one is going to be in the mod blocks class. If we go in here, you can see material no longer exists. Why is this the case? Well, the way that it works now is that you can either copy your block settings from a already existing block or you make completely new ones. To copy them instead of the of, you say copy of right here and then you're going to and then you're going to say something like blocks dot, let's say iron block in this case, and then that will work. Or if you want to make new ones, you can say of, and then basically add all of the things individually. Things like, hey, you know, what is the hardness? What is the instrument over here? What's the lumens? What's the map color? So you would have to add all of those individually. I personally recommend you just, in most cases, copy already existing ones. So for example, for the citrine ore, you can just say blocks stone. And then you pretty much do the same thing for the other things, right? So for the deep slate, citrine right here, you would copy deep slate. And then here, instead of stone, once again, we're just going to copy stone. And then that's pretty much it. But you can also make your own. You can go into the blocks class and under the iron block right here, you can basically see the mac color iron gray, instrument, iron xylophone, and so on and so forth. So you can find the... The vanilla things here as well, the vanilla settings, so that also works. The next thing you're going to notice here is the item group right here, and that is because, well, the item group actually, we're going to set this up a little bit differently. So we're actually going to completely delete this, uh, including this one and including the group right here and including the group right here. This will lead to a lot of errors right here. What I'm going to do is just to quickly fix this, I'm going to select this, including the comma, replace it with control R and then just replace all that basically deletes all of them. You can also delete all of them manually one by one. That's totally fine. But the idea is that the blocks right now are no longer automatically added to a custom item group because we actually have to set up something different in the item group. The same thing goes for the items. By the way, you can see down here in the add item groups, we're actually getting an error right here. And that's totally fine because what we're going to do is we're actually going to delete both of those things. So the item group and the custom item group, adding all of this, we're going to do that in the item group class itself. So we're going to go in here and you can see we're actually already getting an error right here because this has changed a little bit as well. And we now need to actually register the item group properly. So what we need to do is we need to say registry, making sure that we choose net Minecraft registry right here, dot register, registries dot item group, then a new identifier, tutorial mod mod ID, and this is going to be citrine. After the identifier, we now want to put in the builder right here but we want to do this without the identifier inside of there. So we want to take the fabric item group builder and just put it in here. There you go. We can leave this blank now and you can see this is now the new item group. And before the build, right? So the dot before the build, what we want to do is we want to call entries. And inside of here, we want to say display context and you can see it already suggests this to us. We're just going to hit the tab key to autocomplete this and we're going to put in curly brackets. And now 
inside of here, inside of these curly brackets, we're going to determine which entries go inside of our custom item group. So that means we're going to say entries add and then, for example, mod items dot raw citrine. And then we're going to duplicate this control D and then we're going to do citrine. And then we're going to, for example, say animated item and then animated block item and so on and so forth until we have all of our items basically covered. Right now I've added all of the items and you can do the same thing with the blocks. So it's just going to be entries dot add and then mod blocks dot and you can see citrine block and duplicate again citrine or for example, deep slate citrine or and so on and so forth. And what's very important is that the order you add this into should also be the order that it is being displayed in. So that is a very interesting thing indeed as well. If you want to add your items or blocks to already existing item groups, then you would still use the item group events, right? So you'd still say something like, let's just say for the sake of argument, item group events dot modify item group. Then you would say item groups dot, for example, ingredients. You would then say register and then you would do the same thing, entries. And you would actually make a make a similar thing right here. And you would just say entries add and then, for example, mod items dot citrine and raw citrine. This is just an example. You don't actually have to do this in the register item groups method. You can also just put this in the in your main class, in the tutorial mode class. But this is just as an example, right? So this would be example of adding to existing item group. And crazily enough, that should actually be all of the things that we need to do. So let's just start and see if it works. And lo and behold, here we are in 120 fabric modded. Absolutely fantastic. Let's just go into a game, into a world, and let's see if everything is added. But I'm pretty sure it is. Here we are, our animated blocks. They still make sounds. And in our custom item group, you can see everything here and it is ordered exactly the way that we've ordered it, which is pretty cool actually. So this makes it way easier to order your things. And we can just basically double check, you know, whether or not does the tiger still work? Indeed, the tiger still works absolutely phenomenal, right? And if we want to spawn a custom tree over here, does this one still work? And of course, it still works. Absolutely fantastic. And this is how easy it can be to update to 120. A dedicated 120 series is, of course, also coming right now. The tentative schedule would be that it starts on the 3rd of July and the 4th of July. That's going to be Forge and Fabric, respectively. Otherwise, hope you found this useful and you learned something new. And I'll see you next time. So, yeah.